Hi guys, I'm Natalie, and in today's video, I did a glittery cut crease thing. It looks kind of like it could be complex, but it's actually pretty easy to do and pretty quick to do because the eyes are super glam and glittery and dark and like very dramatic. I just did like a pretty dark nude matte lip and kept it pretty simple. So if you want to know the products I use and how I achieve this look, just continue watching. Okay, so today I'm going to start with my skin and I'm first going in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this one is in Opal because I've got pretty glowy skin today. So I'm just going to use this as my primer. Now that I look shiny, move on up to my face. I'm not going to do my eyebrows first today. I know, what a shock. I am, however, going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and this one is in Y245. This one's a little lighter than the one that I usually use, because I'm very fucking pale at the moment. I'm just going to buff that foundation with my favorite foundation brush, and this one is from Zoeva. It's the 104, I think it's a buffer, 104 buffer brush, and it is, like, my favorite flat top brush for blending in my foundation. Now I'm just going to buff that in. Now to conceal under my eyes, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. And this one is in Y23. And you don't need a huge amount of this stuff. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that. Oh, that's a lot. That's a fucking lot. I'm going to start with this side and add it everywhere else on my face because I use it way too much. And to begin my highlighting, I'm taking the Josie Moran Enlightenment Luminizer. And this is in B95, which is a gold shade. I'm first going to start out using my finger to just dab it on where I want it. And then I'm going to take the other side of my beauty sponge and blend that in. I'm going to bring that above the brow, just like whatever's left on the sponge. Already great. I'm going to bring on my Cupid's bow a little bit. A lot, let's be real. And then my nose. A little bit on my chin. Not a lot because I'm breaking out there. But yes, my Cupid's bow. <laughs> my up loop shine. Now to set under my eyes I'm taking my Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder and the Cover ooh, and the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder in Light. I was taking a little mix of those on my Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlighter Brush. I'm just going to take a heap on the brush and press it in under my eye first on each eye. Almost like we're baking. We kind of pretty much are. I'm just going to put that over my highlighting points as well. I'm not going to really bake per se today but I'm just going to leave this while I quickly do my brows. For my brows today I'm going to use the Chocolate Bar Palette from Too Faced and this is the original one. And I'm going to use the colour Triple Fudge. I'm going to use the colour Triple Fudge which is this dark dark brown up here. I usually like to start like in the middle of my brow. I'm going to take a little spoolie and brush both of my brows out a little bit. Okay, so now my brows are done and I'm crying for some reason. I'm going to dust this away. To powder the rest of my face, I'm taking the Youngblood Soft Beige Natural Mineral Loose Foundation. So it's a loose powder foundation, so it will give a bit more coverage if I use a heavy hand. But I'm going to use a quite light hand today. This, like, is super, like, thin. I've hardly made a dent, and it's so hard to get out of here, though. I'm going to take that on my Sigma E30 brush, which is, like, a huge powder brush. And I'm going to put that on my face. So I'm just bronzing with my Laguna bronzer from NARS, and I'm taking that on my Eco Tools blush brush. It doesn't matter that's a blush brush. Like, use whatever you want. And I'm just putting that... Mostly around the perimeter of my face and 
carving out my cheekbones a little bit and my jawline. I'm probably going to get so much makeup on this, but I'll live. I don't usually, like, wear clothes when I'm, like, putting my makeup on. Like, I don't wear clothes, but I wear, like, pajamas or, like, old t-shirts and stuff. So it is a bit difficult to say if I'm wearing this, like, a shirt like this when I'm putting it on after my makeup. But it also prevents me from getting it on when I'm doing my makeup. And I forgot that I like this blonde too. Taking my Sigma E70, uh, I think it's a f shade brush, angle shading brush. I'm taking the uh, look at a bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose a bit. So the other day I picked up a new blush from MAC and this one's in Spring Sheen. So it's like a, hold up, let me open it. But it is like a peachy pink with like this gold reflect in it. So it's really pretty. I'm going to take a little stippling brush and apply that to my cheeks. And for highlight today I'm taking the Dry Cosmetics Star Powder in Marilyn. And I'm taking that on my Makeup Geek Cheek Highlighter Brush. Okay, fuck. I love it. Like, I love that when I, like, use my makeup that I haven't used in a while. I'm like, fuck, that was good. Like, I haven't used this bronzer or this highlighter in ages. And I don't fucking know why. <laughs> because look at it. It looks wet. I lit. I'm, I love it. And I'm just going to hit the top of my lip as well. This is why Izzy loves it. I'm going to finish off my brows with my Maybelline Brow Drama in dark brown. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the eyes. I'm going to take my chocolate bar once again. I'm going to take the color Milk Chocolate, which is this brown here. I'm taking it on a Sigma brush, and I think it's the E10, so it's a massive, big, fluffy brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and put that through my crease to begin with. Now I'm going to do a cut crease, but I'm going to carve it out with a paint pot. So I'm going to avoid getting it on my lid, but that's just the general look I'm going for today. I'm going to flick it out the tiniest bit. Now on my Morphe M330 brush, I'm taking the colour Semi Sweet, which is this brown here. It's like a medium deep brown. And I'm putting that through the crease. Keeping it lower than the last colour. I really like this brush because it has such a pointed tip. And you can like lay it on the side and like... For me, it like hugs the curve of my brow bone to get in my crease. And I fucking love it for cut creases. Now I'm taking triple fudge, which is the dark brown I use for my brows. And on the same brush, I'm focusing that lower into the crease. And mostly on the outer corner of it. I'm going to go back here with the big blending brush and that first colour and blend everything out some more. Now I'm going to take my, the tiniest bit of black from my chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate bar. And it's in the shade Licorice. On that same brush again and just get that out of corner. Now that is as blended as it's going to be. And I I'm going to take a synthetic eyeshadow brush from Eco Tools and my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to carve it out and make a very crisp line. Press it on the lid first and then get higher and higher. Creating a very smooth line. And I'm just going to bring it up and flick it a little bit. I'm doing a thick liner with it as well. Now that that's done, I'm taking coconut cream from the Semi Sweet palette and applying that over the paint box. Just to set it and get rid of any patchiness because it doesn't go on consistently. 
the line isn't as perfect as I usually do because I'm going to cover it in glitter as you would see from the title. So I'm going to do a winged liner today. I'm going to use the Colourpop Gel Liner in Swerve and my Zuba 317, yep, 317 winged liner brush. The only way I can explain how I do my eyeliner is that I just go for it. Like, I'm not one of those people that do like the dashes and then connect them. I'm just like, let's draw a line and see where it goes. And kind of bring it down to a point in the inner corner. And I winged it out heaps. Okay, so that's the best I can do. The eyeliner is starting to get a bit crumbly because it's drying up a bit because I've had it for a while. But you can probably fix it with so like a mixing medium. Okay, so now for the fun part, which is the glitter. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in, I think it's yep, Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just going to trace along the cockroach line. This has such a tiny tip on it. It's really good for detailed little things like this. So once that dries, I'm putting another coat on top of it so we can try and get it pretty opaque. And towards the end, I'm just flicking it out and not making it as opaque. Sorry if I'm looking down so much, I can't look up because the glitter will crease. I was only going to do a thin line, but like, I just wanted more glitter. And then more and more and more. If you don't like glitter, just be grateful about this amount, because I was about to cover my whole lid. Because I just love it. For lashes today, I'm using some thick, double stacked lashes. I'm pretty sure these ones are from Manicare, which you can get from like Priceline here in Australia, or like Coles or something. But I can't remember which ones they were. But... Okay, so now while that's drying, I'm going to start onto my under eye. I'm going to take Chocolate Milk, the first shade we started with, on a 231 brush from Zweeva and take that under my eye. I'm just bringing this super low. How life-changing is that? Like, I look like I have two different eyes. And on a detailed shader brush, I'm taking the darkest brown shade. I'm just focusing that dark brown on the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with that bl brush and blend it some more. Then I'm taking my Better Fit Roll Lash and doing my bottom lashes. The glue is still drying a bit. I'm going to put a lip color on. To line my lips today, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Dolce K. And for my lipstick, I'm taking my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. Okay, and lastly, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus Spray and spraying that all over my face to set it. So guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.